We discussed N level mathematics paper six, probability and statistics two, in May or June of year 2020. In the past, the yield of a certain crop had a mean of 0 0.56 and a standard deviation of 0 0.08. We have a mean of 0 0.56 and a standard deviation of 0 0.08. Following the introduction of a new fertilizer, the farmer intends to test at the 2.5% significant level. So this is what is important. Whether the mean yield has increased, that will give you a one tail test. He finds that the mean yield over 10 years is 0 0.61. Part A, we need to state two assumptions that are necessary for the task. We are given a standard deviation. So for this case here, we need to use the standard deviation and the task. And in order to do that, we need to assume that there is no change in the standard deviation. So the standard deviation remains at 0 0.08. The second assumption is that yields are normally distributed so that we can use the Z test statistics. There's no mention of normal distribution. We need to make that assumption. Part B, to carry out the task, whether the mean U has increased, we need to let mu to be the mean U or the population mean U. We state the null hypothesis that the mean, it was originally 0 0.56 against the alternative hypothesis that the mean has increased. So the mean has increased indicates that the mean must be greater than 0 0.56. We have a one tail task here. The second step after stating the null and alternative hypothesis is to state the task statistics. So the test statistics that we use is the Z statistics. So we have X bar minus the mean divided by the standard deviation over square root of N. And this follows a normal zero one. We can compute the value of the test statistics. X bar is 0 0.61 and is 10 years. So for this case, the value of the test statistics is 0 0.61 minus the mean. The mean is always from the null hypothesis, which is the population mean. And we assume that the standard deviation is 0 0.08 over square root of 10. The value of the test statistics that we have is 1.976. We need to identify the rejection region in order to test. So for this case, the rejection region is a right tail region in the standard normal distribution. So that is a zero. And because we are testing that mu is greater than 0 0.56, this is the region that we need to shade and the area of this is 2.5%, which is 0 0.025, because we have a 2.5% significance level. So your alpha is 0 0.025. Then we can find this Z value here from the standard normal table that will give us the critical value 
And from the standard normal table, this is 1.96. And the decision rule is to reject the null hypothesis if the value of the test statistics is greater than 1.96. So let's look at this value that we have, 1.976. 1.976 is here. Then for this case, our decision is to reject the null hypothesis since the value of the test statistics falls in the rejection region. So we say that this is one point, oh sorry, this is 1.976. This is greater than 1.96. And we have to state a conclusion for the hypothesis test the conclusion is always whether there is enough evidence or not enough evidence to support the alternative hypothesis. Since we reject the null hypothesis, there is enough evidence to conclude that the mean yield has increased at the 2.5% significance level. 